Tracy. And I'm Rahana Power. And today we have Chika Chan joining us. Hello, Chika. Hi. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Absolutely. We're excited to, to have you on and get to talk a little bit um, about so many different things. But you know, before we do, um, your first time on the podcast, I'd love to just start with a little icebreaker. Um, can you tell us something you know, fun, interesting, unique about yourself? Okay, um, I'm from Japan. I was born and raised in Japan, and I came to Minnesota 16 years ago. I'm so wow. surprised actually myself. Oh, it's past actually in November, so it's just really past oh. November. Uh, yeah, 16 years anniversary. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway. So that is, uh, and I was acting in Japan and then just came to Minnesota and then started to just start the family and then just feel. I just kind of, you know, the general mom usually just waking up the middle of the night and just holding the baby and just kind of cuddle around just and just in a, you know, sweat all day and then <laughs> wearing the sweatpants and the pants, you know. Things. <laughs> I can, you know, I cannot spend my life like this. So oh. <laughs> I just have to do something and then just try to look for the op- opportunity. But I really didn't have confidence speaking English. So that's why I right. said, oh, I think maybe I can do modeling. Don't need to speak. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> good, right? So that's, the, yeah. that's my start, yeah, start uh, my career in U.S. So. Nice. Oh, yeah. What made you decide Minnesota out of yeah all of the U.S.? <laughs> I know, right? Everybody asks me, why Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, why Minnesota too? But, you know, <laughs> uh, I, met, I, met my, I met my husband who is, you know, just he was in Japan for his work. And I, I never dreamed to live outside of Japan. I just feel mm-hmm. because I was doing acting, I pursued my dream and I was doing great. And okay, from now, I said, I have my more career in here and I can die. If my dream was, I can die on the stage, right? So mm-hmm. that's why I just really never dream about anything about something else. Wow. And then I just met the guy and then, whoa. And I was, you know, this, he just, Ask me. He didn't say Minnesota to come with. Mm-hmm. He said Santa Monica, and I said, "Yeah, oh. okay, I can go." And uh, we lived in uh, Santa Monica for two years, and then went back to Japan because I really wanted to. Still wanted to do some acting, and then I was, yeah, okay. And then he had opportunity to go back to Japan too. So to, we went in there, and then he just. His hometown was uh, Minnesota too, and then he had opportunity to come back to Minnesota. So I came to Minnesota, and then I he about like, a couple years, and then sixteen years now. So wow, <laughs> it's <a> wow. <laughs> no kidding. So I, I'm also not from Minnesota. I know it's taken me a very, very long time to acclimate, um, especially from California. Uh, you know, that's where I'm also um, I'm originally from, and so. How how long has it taken, or did it take for you to really acclimate to the craziness, the weather, all of that? Um, or was it pretty pretty easy transition for you, even though like you had been in Santa Monica and all of that? Yeah, I I think that was my my U.S. my America is in California. It's like a mm-hmm. tree and then beach there, and then this right here is what what happened here. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> this day I landed in Minnesota, I said, this, is it a snowflake already? So I feel like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh. And I didn't know the first year was six months of the winter is already being yep. started. I didn't know that. <laughs> and yes. I didn't know that. And I just feel like, oh gosh, what can I do this? So this that was so difficult the first year. And then this, everybody, especially you know, even Minnesota people, um, from the May, start to melt in the snow and it's starting warm. Everybody starts just, just kind of tanked up and then walking around a lake and it's just, oh, mm-hmm. wow. It's 
so different, but I just feel like I start to feel sky is so big here. And mm-hmm. so many wild animals just I can see because I never seen a squirrel in uh, Japan. Oh, oh really? In a while. So it just feels boom. You know, at first it's cute, but it's yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, so different. But just, I think it took for a while, but it's, now I like it so much. Absolutely. Oh. Wow, what a uh, culture shift from. Well, well, first, never mind Japan to U.S. alone, but also you said motherhood to acting. Like, mm-hmm. uh, let's start there. Like, what got you into acting first? Like, was it in Japan first that you yes. found that? Mm-hmm. In Japan first. But I also, it's interesting. I never dreamed since when I was little. little. I just feel I was... I wanted to do kind of in the middle, a junior middle school. They have, you know, the club. They can you join like a soccer sports or whatever the things. And then I wanted to announce club. I wanted to join into, and then the and then the class was so popular, and I couldn't join. Hmm. And then the, somebody asked me, "Oh, why don't you come to see?" You know, many classes, a trial, and I just went there. Okay, that is like an acting class, acting club. And then I just went there, and then I have two older brothers, and then I, one older one is two years old, two years older than me. So I, when I was first grade, I mean, the middle school, middle sixth grade, and the eighth grade is my brother. So, and then I went there, and then his classmates, oh, I know your brother. You, you're sure you're going to join this club, right? And I, I just kind of, two years older, is kind of scary to me. The, she asked me, you're going to do this, right? And uh, mm-hmm. Okay. That was my beginning. And mm-hmm. I really didn't, um, yes, I'm going to do this. But I just started doing that. And then just a friend of mine asked me, maybe keep, keep doing that, maybe eighth grade about the time. And she asked me, aren't you interested in doing the acting in on TV or something? And I never thought about it. I'm going to be in the screen. I said, huh, I didn't know that. I never thought about it. And I just started to think about it. And then just looking for the magazine was for the opportunities. And then I started to send in the submission and then start to join the... Uh, talent school, mm-hmm. is a, yeah. So, and that is my beginning. That was I was six, fifteen years old. Wow. Oh. So, when was your your first film role? Then, yes, I was in a talent school, and then you know, now I understand that is sometimes it's not really just teaching. This maybe for the making money. School running is mm-hmm. like that. So I just noticed in that when six years old girls say, oh, I have to be found. I got to do something. And then just to, so I keep looking. And then my first film was, I think, 17. Two years later, two years after I started to um, be in college school. But I just keep sending that submission. Even when I was in college school, I thought, I cannot come mm-hmm. down here. I just have to do something for myself. So I just keep looking, searching, and then sending, and then the, I found some um, opportunity to be that. The contest was uh, if you are at the finalist, you can be on the regular role in the kind of very popular uh, TV series. And I said, oh, wow. okay, I will send that. And then I sent it, and I was uh, selected in the part. That is a kind of Japanese that character is going to travel to from uh, 47 uh, cities, something like that. So and then I was one of the part, kind of Osaka part. Okay. Yeah, so that was, uh, I, I, was that, I was selected for the finalist for the part, and then I was wow. in that show. That was my first. Wow. <laughs> so uh, for a moment, like you said talent school, is that correct? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yes. So you're in talent school and this is, is this a formal education? What, what type of, uh, uh, is this extracurricular is uh, how does that work in Japan? Yeah. Um, I don't know about the U S but I think maybe it's like, uh, um, it's like a join the agencies. Mm -hmm. Agency has, uh, acting curriculum, something like that, I think. So, so you're, you're doing that in addition to like normal schooling, like yes, in yes. general. Okay. Okay. Yes. Wow. And afternoon, uh, yeah, just as a hobby, some people. Okay. Wow. And then this is like a traveling thing that you got selected for. Is that right? Yes. One, uh, one main character group, they are going to travel from the city to city to just fix some problem. So I, I don't know this. Um, yeah, that's so that is uh, I was they go to I don't know that but they, you guys know that Japan that Hokkaido to Okinawa is this kind of long islands and go to the from north to you know, south and just go to city stop by city, step, step by city. Okay. So then yeah, that I was he, that character stays in the uh, that is in a show, so not not they are really traveling, but they are just shooting the mm -hmm. Kyoto in the one studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's all in one studio, but it. Mm -hmm. um, That's like the premise. Yeah, yes. like a traveling show yeah. idea. Okay. Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, so it's. So cool. Anyway. It's both TV and theater, or is it just more TV? That was TV. Okay. At the beginning, beginning is I was not interested in theaters. Uh, I really wanted to be in the screen. Okay. And yeah, this is keep doing that. I liked it and just do it. But I was so interested. Even still, many people feel when I, you in the front of the camera so get nervous. And there's mm -hmm. so much um, drink, this kind of, yeah, I really struggle. I'm still struggling sometimes you know, when I get the nervous, there's so much drink. Mm -hmm. I really should not <laughs> keep eyes my open. It's so difficult. I just, I just right. to get over so many things. The Sir Michael Caine thing, right? You yeah. don't <laughs> blink and you don't blink. You mm -hmm. keep looking. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, wow. So, okay. So you started in TV at, as a teenager, basically. So, yes. um, interesting. So when you're in that situation, was there, and as you've progressed, were there things in either film or TV in general that you found intriguing s certain other roles that you've noticed along the way? Yes. Um, I was, uh, in Japan, in Osaka, kind of a little suburb of a city and I thought I noticed I have to go to Tokyo. Tokyo is a main mm. city. It's like, a, you know, when you want to have movie opportunity, you have to go to Hollywood. Right. I was still in like uh, Ohio, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> That's just like a Minnesota girl, right? Yeah, I yeah. Go, I had to go to, I had to go to a big city. I can't, you know, just doing that and I just went to, uh, when I was 20, I went to Tokyo by myself. And then start to um, pass you my dream, and yeah, get more opportunities, and then start to get involved with theaters, uh, small theaters and the big theaters, for and then yeah, just ten years or so in Tokyo, I was doing that. Uh, I'm a little curious. What uh, what are theaters like in Japan? Like, what are the mm -hmm. seating sizes? How are they laid out? You know, like, what are the screens? Like, what is that experience um, like? You mean movie theaters? Yeah. Is it like yeah. here in America where we sell, uh -huh. like, condom, you know, snacks and everything? Or how is it, you know, set up? They do, too. They do, too. They do. They do the same. Um, yeah. I I think it's the same. Okay. It's not so much a difference. I really wanted to, uh, I like to watch theater, a movie in theater too. So I mm -hmm. don't watch TV at home right now. I don't know how to turn on TV. 
<laughs> I just really don't know. I mean, I should watch more, you know, for that because I'm acting. I have to somebody is acting, but I just don't have time at home. Oh, I just right. I want to go there and just be in a the theater and just be in a zone and just kind of mm-hmm. soak everything. Yeah, I like it. So even I was in Japan, I don't have any shooting or anything. I went to a whole day step. Stepping that I was academy Japan, Japan academy member. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that was I had a kind of pass to just go you know, watch movie as much as I can. So I went to three movies a day. So that's something like that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, fun! Yeah, it was. That's really day. cool. <laughs> yeah. What was the last movie that you saw that you really enjoyed in the theater? In the theater. You know, the Barbie. Barbie, <laughs> yeah. I think I, I went two times or three times in the theater. That's so awesome. Yeah, I enjoyed it so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you started so young doing TV. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you. it sounds like you did so much uh through TV, film, um, out in Japan, and then you moved here, and and you've gradually kind of gotten back into it. You, you know, going through modeling um, and and acting now. Um, what was your your first film role here, and how different is the experience acting in a film here versus in Japan, or is it? Yeah, I I didn't mention, but I never get opportunity to be in a film in Japan. Even I had so many oh. TV series. So, so that was my goal. I wanted to be in the screen. Mm-hmm. It, like I want to watch in a theater. Mm-hmm. So I then came to United States and I really um, didn't have confidence to do acting. And then the modeling keep doing that. And that first role, I think, was... Uh, didn't complete the I think process didn't finish the movie they make me mm-hmm. but that was a, a Minnesota made kind of um, hockey movie mm-hmm. I went to went to the north for uh, during the COVID I think so they didn't finish the movie but that was um, my first role first role and then I was auditioning I didn't get that but I think I really, really want it. So I just mentioned at the audition, I want it. Even I cannot get into the role. I want to do something, even a small extra. I just want to be in the um, set, on set, and it is the ex- experience I wanted to do. So I just tell them I wanted to do something. Even I don't get the role, I just want to do be in mm-hmm. so Right. Maybe. Uh, you were recently in a Z-Fest film. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us about your experience with that. Yeah, that was interesting, too. Um, so, I, you know, as I said, I never had a opportunities in here, and I just started doing that, and I just... Um, yeah, actually, the movie... Did you see it on the big screen? Were you able yes, to see I it? Did. I, you did. Yes, Great. I did. Great. Yes, yes. So the part we keep that was movie I was in the first my Z Fest um, yes. appearance. That movie was interesting too. I just uh, was in a, some model gig and it was waiting for the uh, what is that wardrobe wardrobe uh, wardrobe thing. And just it was waiting and at, across the table somebody was there, and then she asked me. Are you inter- are you interested in doing the small movie? And sure, have you done? Yes. And uh, she says, "Oh, why don't maybe I will keep contact with you?" And just she gave me some small role. That was the uh, role I think I watched uh, my acting. So that was my perfect for me because I don't have confidence in speaking in English too much. Oh. That was small role. Yeah. And then just, but I just feel like I have confidence to. Speak uh, express, so mm-hmm. I feel okay. I want to do it, and I just um, 
enjoyed it so much. Then that that said yes, that small I say yes means really just open the doors for me. I never yep. so I never met so many actors because I never been in a, on set. Right. So I was that small yes really opened the doors. Right. Oh, absolutely. Um. So, oh man, I just lost my. I that just made me think of something, and now it's gone. Alan, you go, and I'm okay. gonna think of it. I, I got it. I got this. So, <laughs> Chica. <laughs> yes. Uh, when you're doing like a even the small role, like for well, not small, but you know the role for the part we keep on Z Fest. Um, how do you prepare for that type of role, and what's your process, and uh, how do you get to? I don't know what what is your process really. That's the bottom okay. line. Yes, I of course read the script and then feels what I feel, and then I just ask my two female doctors friends. Then oh, what do you do? How you approach the something? You have to say something difficult to um, that person, who, the family, or just mm-hmm. the patient. And then, so I just prepare for that, and then feels. I just try to soak everything. Try to soak in the feeling. How do I feel? And then just try to be there. And then just believe that some chemical happen. So. Right. So you even did some research. You asked people mm-hmm. who are in the field that you know, yes. like. One, how do you do this? And then you say, like, how do I do that based mm-hmm. on how they answered? That's brilliant. Um, I feel like that's something that gets kind of lost and, and not necessarily everyone does for um, film, at least maybe at the level here in Minnesota. And it's it's so smart and such a great way to help prepare Um for whatever role you're going into. So that's, that's really cool. Um, I love that you do that. What's like your favorite part of that preparation um, or even going into a role in general? Mm, yes. I, I'm so lucky to have some connection with my role and in my real myself, myself, and it just feel like, Oh, I, I get it. I can be, I don't know how to say. It. Just be a part of that role. Myself mm-hmm. is gonna get into. Let's get into the role. Is so amazing. Just feel. Like, even I think many actors feel like a, can live some different life, not just mm-hmm. my own life. Just have to be just some part. Just I can be some chef or whatever the doctor and something like that. That is very fun to. Um, exciting life and then mm-hmm. even something so sad and so down but I like to be in the just to use all my passion and soul to be in the role is such a beauty of I think the acting right yeah because like in your scene I can imagine like um, if you're walking into this role kind of like where is she just coming from, you know, and how is she going to say this? She doesn't know how she, you have your lines, but you have right. to act as if you don't know what you're about to say mm-hmm. entirely, but you kind of have an idea, you know, it's just mm-hmm. like how we rehearse in our heads, how we live our lives in general. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, definitely a tough scene, but, uh, uh, but a very uh, dramatic scene, I'll say. Um, I suppose I, I just want to dig a little more before we get into more of our questions here. Like what are some of the other past roles that you've had, uh, within film, whether it be here, Japan or California? Oh, um, were there any, I guess, I don't know. Um, yeah, I TV maybe, included. Yeah. Of course. Thank you so much. Yeah, TV, I did um, 
my maybe many people knows about me in Japan is like a, I was in a ninja role. That kind of it's called kunoichi. Is a, a female ninja called kunoichi. So I was in a, a TV series um, for the show. I'm support kind of protecting shogun. The shogun is a kind of do you know about the shogun? I mean, uh, uh, kind of, let's let's say king. Yeah, Either like a boss just, or... Yeah, like a yeah. boss, you know, the boss in the samurai, right? Mm -hmm. And then that is a... Uh, so, supporting king, there's two female and the male uh, ninja supporting him. Not kind of, obviously, I'm protecting, just kind of behind the secret. He just he does something that he just, uh, you know, solve the, any, any problem and the dangerous for the kind of king. So that was uh, my role. That was a uh, fun role. It's very memorable. And that makes me my, actually, that is the required sword of fighting because I had to have kind of small sword for the ninja. And I learned that there. And then, so that's actually, that carries me now, my career. This I met Alan with something like that because we did the, movie together mm -hmm. as a sword of fighting and a kind of lightsaber but I just basically just uh, sword of fighting so right. that carries me so that you know the small seeds come to Minnesota yeah <laughs> I know that's I do you really and, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead oh I was gonna say do you really enjoy like the action mm -hmm. uh film like getting to do those things because that would just yes. be so fun Mm -hmm. I I really enjoyed it, and my uh, I think when I was twenty, I was so into the Hong Kong movie that was Michelle Yeoh and Jackie Chan, and mm -hmm. so many actor actress are in Hong Kong, you know, Asian. In the Hong Kong was Hong Kong movie was so hot to me at that moment, and I want to be in a action movie, and I never get that, and now I get it. So I <laughs> should, yeah. <laughs> Never stop dreaming. Right. Absolutely. Is there a, a genre that you haven't done that you would love to have a role in? Like like anything from in, maybe like romance, comedy, just a musical, <laughs> anything um, at all? Yeah, I think I, I want to love comedy. Maybe, yeah. I never, I think I never done those actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I used to like, I used, not like used to like, I still like a Meg Ryan, Meg Ryan's <laughs> comedy. Oh yeah. yeah. I yep. really enjoyed it. Yeah. So I, I have, I'm so excited to watch a new one. Like this movie for her. Right. Well, uh, yeah. So we, you mentioned our film, which we worked on Kyber Run for the fan film. Um, both you and Rahana were a part of the film, but they're on different days. So like our cast and crew, we're never in the same place at the same time altogether, hopefully in the future, but not likely with uh, some people like Kobe moving to Georgia and stuff like that. So... <laughs> It's it's quite an ensemble. So, what? Uh, yeah, talk about your day on set there, just a little bit, like uh, preparing for that while you're working on a your your show in Japan too. Like, how how do you prepare for multiple roles like that during the summer? Oh, um, yes, I was in Japan and I had a. I was so nervous. Um, am I still getting into the role? Because I know I had to go to Japan. And I heard this, uh, this opportunity before I go to Japan. And then I was nervous. But I came back. But I just, I think I asked Lee um, mm -hmm. in a chore uh, acting choreographer anything I had to prepare. And just, um, just be you know, just be fit as always. Just be active. And, uh, as Is that what he said? Yeah. 
No, no, no. I mean, he didn't say that. He didn't say. I just said that. <laughs> so. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Actor. <laughs> no, no, he didn't say that. He just, he just didn't mention so many things. Just <laughs> I, yeah. That sounds like Lee. He mentioned so many things. <laughs> he didn't mention so much, but I just feel, because uh, I never met anybody, um, because everybody doing since maybe February, preparation started in February, and I was yeah. just uh, starting to join a couple of times, and then I had to be there. It just feels nervous, but it, it was fun. And everybody is so nice and very, everybody trying to do something together and that is looking for the same direction. Right. You were nervous. I was nervous because like, uh, one, yeah, during production, you were in Japan for a mm -hmm. big chunk of it. So I was like, okay, we can fit her in towards the end of production. And then it was like, oh, can we move it just one day? And it's like, it's... <laughs> I don't know if people realize how tough it is because at the time, both you and Holly had different things happening that weekend. And it was just like, how do you, how are you doing this? First of all, and then how are we all suddenly here at one point together? <laughs> and it was just, it, it was kind of tough because it was like towards, um, not the end of summer, but you know, the point where the sun is starting to set earlier in the evening. So, yeah, it's just kind of interesting to see how how to work out a scene, especially, I mean, you had some, we, we definitely had a little bit of rehearsal time before you got on set together, but mm -hmm. it was just kind of interesting to see, like, it come together in that, right. that scene, because yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice scene, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I like that scene, but yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, yeah, this feels, because I was in a ninja role, that preparation was, I couldn't prepare, because I went to the role, I went to the on set, okay, today is a final fight scene, fight the scene, and I just be on there, and then the choreographer, uh, just, you know, so many kind of uh, other act. how can I say, it? I'm sorry, I just don't have enough vocabulary to explain but so many uh fight actors yeah who was preparing there and then this main character like a shogun i'd say like a king main character mm -hmm. and then he was so fast and he just got a dynamic oh. acting, and then just everybody wow yeah cutting, just kind of just do something what it's so dramatic i love that i'm sorry i'm so excited to talk about yeah. this <laughs> anyway so that is a didn't prepare, didn't prepare in advance. He was on set. Everybody's on set. Okay. And the choreographer, okay. Watch this. This, 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 this. Okay. Please do. And then, <laughs> okay. Do this. Do this. Yeah. Okay. Slowly. Okay. Check in. Check in. Okay. Okay. Little bit faster. Do this. Oh. Okay. Okay. We are speed. Let's go. Something like that. Wow. So that's why, wow. Yeah, Just on, on the day. Set. Oh my on goodness. The day, on set. Oh. Yeah. That was so I we, can't imagine that. <laughs> we didn't need six months of preparation for Kyber right. is what you're saying. We could have just shown up and done it. My God. <laughs> so that's why I Such feel, professionals. I mean <laughs> I was like that. I was trained like that for that. I mean Oh that's why I just feel oh, And okay. were you fast? Were you fast, yeah. fast? Yeah. fast <laughs> Could you fast, keep up with yeah. Shogun? So <laughs> no, I can't. But anyway, just I just yeah. In that moment, I was it was twenty five years ago, and I think they didn't. I shoot in the film, really real film, not mm -hmm. using a, a digital, so we couldn't see that. And then just really first um, as a test um, what is it? test run, I saw it on myself my movement was pretty fast. And I think, mm -hmm. oh, did they make faster? Like, you know, the, and like a digital, this we can make faster forward. No, mm -hmm. this is my real speed. Oh, I can move fast. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I was so surprised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when... That's so fun. When Lee sent me the 
test footage from one of your days in practice. I wasn't there that day. Uh, I could tell you had a level of confidence with like a, a sword or in this case, a lightsaber. So I was just kind of like, oh, she's got a style to it. She already knows how to handle the like what her grip is and how, you know, how to handle the sword like you did probably. So did you have prior sword training? Like what's, what's your background in that? No, I just really, you know, I was selected for the cast and then, okay, just jump in. And then just preparation before shooting, I think one week with a very professional, uh, fight actors was training me, mm-hmm. even just, not just whole day, one hour and done for the five days. So five hours for preparation. No. Then, okay, <laughs> go do it. And then, uh, okay, something like that. Yeah. Oh my God. No. <laughs> yeah. One hour? What? <laughs> one hour per day. One hour per day. Oh, one hour per day. Okay, okay. okay. One hour per day. So okay. about five days, but they mm. are... So, you know, actually the main character doesn't need to be so good because of the other actors are so good to be killed. So right. good to be beaten. So that's why we look so much stronger and so good. So that's why I'm so appreciate that they did to me and I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lee did talk about that on our uh, group podcast here mm-hmm. about how um you have it's your job to make the other one believable right. that you can kill the like you can handle them whoever right. is supposed to win you know so or look like a a shogun right. or such yes. so yeah that's that does take its own skill and that's acting that's part of the mm-hmm. you know pretend fun of it you know so right right collaboration just you know just me me just you know, make you lift to be believable, what, what you feel to, I think. Like, uh, like when I, I just go back to the story about my, that part we keep in the movie, just mm-hmm. I have to, you no, know, just, I have to kill myself because I, they are so, I mean, I have to tell about parents or you or some, you know, your kids are, not in a good condition, so I had to tell. If I gonna be dramatic, they I kill the scene. So sometimes that just feels just sometimes you have to reserve yourself and just you know, just make them you know, shine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of of all the roles you have played thus far. Do you have any favorites uh, uh, of what you mentioned there? <laughs> yes, I I like that role I mentioned. I talk about so much. I obviously you guys know this. I really enjoy that role, the ninja role. Mm-hmm. And also, I I just talk start to mention about the U.S. I mean Minnesota. I made the movie last year. Uh, it's come. It's exactly one year ago. I just shoot um, the fun razor and chisholm. We shoot in chisholm. What was and it called? Small, fun razor. Fun razor. Fun. Oh, fundraiser. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that was a role. I, I, you know, my agent sent me the role, the script. I saw. That was me. I just really, <laughs> yeah, that was a role kind of uh, immigrant and uh, who already got the kids are, you know, just they give up all my career, all that career. And I came with a husband and they just, and then raising the kids and they didn't have career in the United States. And it just feels like I'm so lost. My part of, you know, I'm away from my family, my friends, and what I'm doing. I'm so lost and just so sad and just, that's me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy that role. I can imagine that that must have just like hit really close to home, allowing you to just 
be even more like emotionally right uh available for it mm-hmm. yeah um are there do you have like any films that are really like influential or like inspiring for you from an acting perspective so many movies as are good but i just pop up my mind i i watch the movie um, sliding door <gasps> sliding. yes do you like the movie? I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, I love the movie. Three, four times in the theater. <laughs> mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> Sliding doors. I still have that on VHS. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I think I have that too. And then the uh, Love Actually. Yep. I know. Love Actually. Mm. Did I say that? I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Love Actually. Yes, I so good. So. <laughs> yeah, Love Actually. Yeah, definitely. Classic Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, also love that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think those are my very best favorite, I think. Huh. I have not seen Sliding Doors. I have not. You I'll should check. watch it. I'll put that on the, yeah. Oh, it's on Freebie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's very good. If you have a VCR, I can lend it to you. <laughs> I'll have to break out the VCR. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, so uh, similar to that, are there? Do you have any like favorite actors or actresses that you really enjoy watching? Yes, I was thinking about it. I just, um, I would say Michelle Yeoh mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. she is my favorite since maybe yeah when I was twenty, so maybe. Long, long mm-hmm. yes. yeah, she's amazing mm-hmm. yeah everything everywhere all at once of course oh my gosh. i mean yes, of course I so was good a couple of times <laughs> right yeah <laughs> yeah i didn't notice that movie was so good i mean i'm sorry i just watch on the airplane because i <laughs> michelle yo's name and yeah. oh, okay i started watching and it was oh what's kind of bizarre movie and it started <laughs> mm-hmm. at first in the beginning yeah. and then what is it and it will just go into so deep and just um and ever i just cry so much <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was so good so deep yeah it it was amazing, it was amazing. and everyone has had been talking about how good it was but sometimes when that happens, it's, you know, it's almost like they overhype it. Mm-hmm. And so you got kind of nervous, but it, it really was just that good. She is just astonishing. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. So I know, gosh, there's so much I want to ask about between just your life in general, because you mentioned as a mother as well, um, I just want to dig a little there. How, like, because you you were in acting originally with like when you were younger, but then did you uh, shift away from that slightly and then come back to it, or how did how did that happen? Mm-hmm. How did you like you know come to be film in, with a film in Minnesota and everything? Yes, I feel like. Uh, mm-hmm. I just kept doing what I wanted to do, and then, but I know that theater is too difficult to do with kids. There's so right. much passion and energy and time required, so I cannot do this. But I feel, um, I think commercial and the modeling is a part of the act, you know, acting like the same as filmmaking, TV series or whatever that thing is. It's, I just believe in acting. So I just keep doing the acting, but just not on my film before. And then some opportunity comes and just, I just try not to say no recently. Right. Uh, because I really wanted to do, oh, that's one, one thing can I just share that I just uh, kind of break through the moment. I really couldn't say that I was 
um, so nervous to speak in English, you know, from the, it's kind of obvious, but I just feel so down. And when I went to audition, and I feel, okay, I had to speak clearly and slowly, and then just speak like that. And uh-huh. then just, at the audition, and then somebody said that, why are you speaking like a robot? <laughs> okay. okay, but I just feel okay. Uh-huh. And then, uh-huh. yeah, that was one thing. Uh-huh. And then when we went to the audition, I'm so confident speaking, I mean, the uh, and. Uh, uh, audition in non-speaking role because if you oh, yeah it's okay I can just do this and then the owner said okay can you speak this I said, okay oh. <laughs> so I, said, I just kind of freeze oh. said, okay and then I have to do this and then I yeah. keep trying my best and then somebody this who is a kind of scene partner she said that oh you're so cute I feel I'm so down I just realized I speak like a baby I know. I know for you, I speak in my best as second language. Right. But, you know, that I understand that. So I just make me so down in this kind of fear. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot do this. And then the COVID hit and I just uh, went to some virtual uh, kind of seminar for the actors. And I just participate and I just don't need to speak. I just listen, observe. Right. And then that last part came, and then do you have any question? I just didn't want to speak out and just kind of put on the chat. And then as a second language actor, uh, how can I have confidence to try on, keep keep trying? Right. And then he just said, who is that? And Chica, oh, can you speak? And uh, I said, oh, why do I have to speak? <laughs> <laughs> and then, anyway, I just did that. And then just he was... That was my really breakthrough. Uh, he said that, oh, you know, you, even you have accent, Japanese accent, you can speak English. And then mm-hmm. you can, if you train to be the reduction of accent, you can just speak English and you can speak Japanese, of course. So you are so amazing. Why don't you believe that you, you can do many things? And then because he is, he looks like more kind of ambiguous looks and maybe not, not white, but just kind of many different country look, but he can speak only English. So Mm -hmm. you are ahead. Oh, wow. Thank you. So I just feel like, oh, wow, I didn't look like that way. So that was my breakthrough. I said uh, kind of vulnerability just I yeah. just okay I can do this but uh, actually just that was my underestimate myself right I think uh, I, I mean speaking for myself uh, I think a lot of people have that but I you know there are a lot of insecurities too that hold us back and most often it is just ourselves um, but yeah I understand I I can't imagine like if I were to move to Japan not speaking any J- Japanese, like how would how would I feel? You know how how could I get by and try to learn the language? You know, um, did you have any type of formal training beforehand of like English yeah. or anything? No, just jumping, <laughs> just survival English. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, so when I met how? my husband, I couldn't speak. You know, just like a second language class. You you guys are taking in uh, school uh-huh. like uh you know you took spanish or whatever the language yeah. and then that's it and then so that's why when i met him i just oh hi my name is chica nice to meet you <laughs> yeah where's that's the bathroom <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's all something like that so, and as i came to minnesota it's also like then i even went to santa monica that my first living outside of japan and I don't know what to what I don't know what to say. What is a, a not a, like a textbook things? You know, hi, yeah. my name is you know, you know, this is right. Japan. Mm-hmm. It's not working in a regular life so much. <laughs> so I just feel okay. I just and you know, observe what my you know my partner doing. So just went to uh, grocery shopping together. I didn't say anything. The one month observing and okay, I'm going to say oh. A question comes and a yes or no, right? And then this, um, I didn't know paper or plastic. What is a paper or plastic? <laughs> and then, right. oh, 
yeah, paper or plastic. Oh, yeah. no. I can say that paper or plastic. I can choose. And then, yes or no. And then, that's mm-hmm. one day I could do some, one day succeed at shopping. And then, the next day, I just try, okay, I can do, I can do, I can do shopping by myself. I went there, same, uh, same grocery store. And then, they asked me something different. Did you find everything okay? What? What is it? I didn't prepare the answer. What is it? Oh. What did you say? Mm-hmm. Did you find everything okay? <laughs> yes or no? Yes, no, yes, no. I said no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know. I know. And, it, and, it, and he said, what? Uh, what? Oh, and no. He said, what? I mean, I mean, I mean what? And so like that. <laughs> so, that was my level with my English. So. That's great. You finding yours okay? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. oh. No. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> Did yeah, you need help answer. finding something or something? Is that the follow up question? And yeah. no one ever says no. I guess right. Or yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, I'm fine, just browsing or whatever. It just. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Even though, you know. <laughs> right, right. I'm, yeah. I, I'm okay. I, I'm not okay. But what do you know okay? <laughs> right. Oh, right. No, no, yeah. no. <laughs> right. Oh, and yeah. And I cry home and I couldn't do this. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, just that was my kind of daily step by step, right? Oh. So was, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I. I here I am. <laughs> I learned, like, I spent, like, a month in France, and it was just, like, like, as long, yeah, you're right, just observing things, being able to watch how people are interacting and what they're doing, especially, like, at the checkout line or something, like, they're, Mm -hmm. she's asking a question, what is this question, and I have no idea, but as I watch people go through in front of me, oh, she's asking Mm -hmm. if they want a bag, like, to buy a bag or something, and it's just, like, Oh, okay. And because everyone's just like, no, because they're not, you know, they're like frugal like we are here. We don't want to spend money, you know. So, mm-hmm. yeah, just observing mm-hmm. people in their routines, kind of just like in right. acting. So, uh, is there maybe something you, you did mention comedy, but is there something you want to do more now than ever, uh, either with mm-hmm. acting or with film in general? Yes, um, I think before I can move, I want to do action, action movie. More action, okay. Yeah. Action, yeah, why not? <laughs> not enough yet. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. So. love that. What kind of um, action? Hang on, hang on, Rohana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are we talking hand-to-hand, swords, guns? I mean, like what... Yeah, I want to do more sword. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I, that was 25 years ago, what my peak, the moment, and just came down, nothing, 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 and whoop, just to start to kind of pop up the, something come up. So I just want to more bigger. And then after, I don't know, maybe Hansen has good too. Have you seen the film Assassin? I'm just curious. Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Cool. Mm-hmm. I All right. Too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, Rahana, you're up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, okay. <laughs> no, you're good. That was a good question. Um, so what's what's next for you, Chica? Yeah, good question. But I always feel like uh, um, my life is unwritten. Just mm-hmm. open, just whatever comes. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Try. Yeah, I just like I said, you know, small yes, one yes, start to open the doors for me mm-hmm. here. So I think keep doing that. Just don't give up. Just, yeah. So excited. Yeah. For whatever comes. Yeah, and I'm glad. Lee found you through ZFest because that's ZFest is one of those places where it's see and be seen. So mm-hmm. everyone does want to see the film. Everyone will be seen in their films, you know, that sort of thing. So it it's a good good spot for that. And I'm glad 
Yeah. Uh, that's where he found you. It was just kind of like, oh, yes. that's where he he mentioned that in the panel at Twin Cities Con. So, yeah. And uh, where can people find your work or follow you and support you? Yes, thank you so much. Um, I'm doing the uh, Instagram. So Chica, my Chica, C-H-I-K-A, and then Kochi. Uh, I was my, my maiden name, Kochi here. So and my name, nickname was Kochi. So <laughs> Chica Kochi, and, uh, K, uh, let's say C-H-I-K-A dot K-O-C-H-Y is my main Great. And we'll link that in the show notes. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. So, Chica, one more question. It's a big question. Um, <laughs> what do you want people to remember most about you? I thought you were going to ask her, did you find everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you find everything okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you for asking that. I feel, um, I just feel like uh, somebody who is like me, wanting to do something but scared for a long time. Um, but uh, just say something if you need help. You know, I, I'm here. Want to do um, like, uh, yeah, just don't give up, keep doing. And then, uh, you know, the age is just a number. I'm 50, and then just start just something new. I feel like that's so exciting. I just feel like when I was uh, young, I just didn't think 50 is so young. But I just didn't feel I'm 50. I just, oh, surprise myself. I'm still 35 or something. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, you look 35. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. You do not look. You look younger than me. And I'm 36. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, just don't give up. Age is, um, yeah, just a number. Mm-hmm. I love that. I really yeah. do. Um, And you have, you just, you're such a good like role model with that just continuing to live your dream and do what makes you happy and i that is that's really beautiful thank you very much yeah well chica thank you so much for taking the time today and hanging out with us letting us just throw a bunch of questions your way um it was really fun getting to chat with you and we'll have to have you back on thank you very much so appreciate it Yeah. Thanks for doing this, Chico. Thank you. Thank you. And to all of our listeners, this has been Filming Minnesota. Minnesota.